Hey guys, you're Marta Geek, and this video I wanted to share my one year review for the Steam Deck. This is the 64 gigabyte version, which goes for $400. Uh, there is other versions like the 512 with matte screen, cost like around $649, uh, the SSD a little bit more faster than this one, but this is the 64 gigabytes that I've been using since day one. Of course, after a year, you know, my thing has skins here in the back over there, gold, uh, it has the skins right here that I put. I mean, I think I've made videos on, on these skins that I put on. I definitely did for these. After a year of using this device, I gotta say, I love it. I love the Steam Deck. It has changed my gaming pattern, my PlayStation 5, my Xbox, my Nintendo Switch. It has taken a back seat for the Steam Deck because everything I play mostly is on my Steam Deck. Of course, games that are huge, um, that I want to play on the big screen. I love how, you know, nice intro there that I, you could customize. Uh, this is because I'm actually using the preview version of the OS. I believe this actually came out in March last year, but I was on the waiting list, and so I ended up getting it on May. So for me, it's a year right now, right? I love the fact that I can play AAA games on this device, games that are, are my backlog, games that I played back in the day that I can revisit again, and they all play really, really good on the Steam Deck, right? Of course, a lot of games, like for example, Midnight Suns, WWE 2K23, there's a lot of games that are graphic demanding, but you have to adjust the graphics that way it performs good on the Steam Deck. Remember, the Steam Deck is basically like a cheap gaming laptop where you cannot, you can play games on it, but you don't expect to game, play the games at high-end ultra settings like you would on your uh, high-end gaming desktop, right? So you have to adjust the graphics, that way it can play great on the Steam Deck. And I have no problems whatsoever. One reason why I always mention on my videos that this is the 64 gigabyte version is because there was a misconception about games that uh, will not basically play correctly if you install them on the micro SD card. I'm here to tell you guys, it's been a year now and I still haven't played a game from the internal drive not even one indie game i haven't even played one indie game on my internal sd card uh, uh internal card which is a 64 gigabytes everything everything i played on my device and that's why i always show on my videos where the game is installed how the fast the game loads that way you guys can see that the game actually loads and plays great from the micro SD card. Like you see there, these are all on my micro SD card. Right now I have um, 86 gigabytes free out of 512 gigabytes card, which actually you get 468. And I got right now, I got WW2K23, Just Cause 4, Marvel's Midnight Sun, Like a Dragon, Ishing, Judgment, Undisputed, Shadow Warriors 3 Definitive Edition, Hi-Fi Rush, Stray Lights, Spec Ops The Line, and Ali Ali World. All these games are being played and launched from the micro SD card. So yes, you can play video games from your micro SD card without any problem. I love, another thing that I love about this device is that um, SteamOS launcher. I love that but when you launch it for the first time, you can go ahead here and see all your games available here, whether they're playable or not on the Steam Deck. It's well organized. I love that you can actually um, adjust this for hours played. And like you see here, of all the games that I have, the game that I have played the most here on the Steam Deck, Dying Light 2, over 47 hours. Gotham Knights, over 42 hours. Ishing over 35, Resident Evil 4 over 33, and all these games, I finished it here on the Steam Deck. All these games that you see here, I finished every single one of them on the Steam Deck, and it's been a freaking beauty. I love it. I love the fact that you can play these games that you cannot play on the Steam Deck on the Nintendo Switch, 
and uh, you know it's awesome i love it i love it i love that you know uh, also valve has a great organization here when it comes to um you know showing you a section here on the store where all the games should play correctly they all have the green check mark which is awesome look at hogwarts legacy has the 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 uh, green check mark which means it should play uh you got 2k23 uh dead space the remake i haven't played it yet and it has the green check mark so there's a whole bunch of games that already have the green check mark and even games that don't have the green check mark just because they don't have the green check mark doesn't mean they don't play like for example 2k23 wwe is considered unsupported and this game is awesome i've been playing this game a lot um i just went to puerto rico and came back and i played like three hours of wwe 2k23 during the plane where i had no wi-fi whatsoever so it does work and it plays really good another thing that i love about this is that you can connect it to the tv to any monitor and play in tv mode of course there's a whole bunch of options when it comes to decks or docks for the steam deck um the cool thing is that you can get uh, docks as cheap of 20 dollars all the way to almost 200 dollars docks that include like ssds that you can attach to the dock uh, this one cost me like around 25 dollars and i love that it has the rgb uh, here in the bottom and all the features that you get here are basically the same that you would get on a normal uh, steam deck um exclusive dock that they sell for around 80 bucks yeah because the one that comes exclusively for the uh, steam deck i believe it costs 80 or 85 bucks and you know this has all the same features you know the only thing missing here I, I, I would say is the oh no it has everything yeah it has all the great features and it cost me like around 25 to 30 dollars i believe the case that i've been using the most has been this one from Subcase. this is the ub pro and I like that it has the kickstand love that it comes in different colors i got this one and i also have the green one it's very very awesome i love it another case that i've been using a lot that i use it to go to puerto rico is this one right here there is a travel case that comes with the steam deck for every steam deck for free which is awesome they include but it's big it's thick right and it occupies more space in the in your backpack this right here what i love about it is that it's basically like a skin a thin case that goes around your steam deck it adds a kickstand and you just you know cover your steam deck here with this right here bump and it's completely secured it is totally secure and all you got to do is just put this in your backpack it doesn't occupy no more space than the, the steam deck needs so my favorite cases so far has been this and this right here which is from mepotem there's other brands as well i bought these and there's other brands as well and the brand of this one right here this uh um dock is actually the same brand as this case it's mepotem so i'll leave links in my descriptions for that um the other thing that i like about it is that um you can go ahead and go to for example if you click right here and you get switch to desk mode uh you can actually use this as a computer you could just go ahead and put a mouse attach a mouse to it a keyboard and navigate the desktop and do everything that you would do on a pc you could do it here on the steam deck that is another thing that i like about this now keep in mind this is running linux it's not windows so the negative thing about this is since it's not running windows uh it kind of sucks that you cannot play xbox game pass game installed directly into the micro sd card um you can play game pass games but it's only via cloud gaming i already have a video on how to do that and talking about videos that's another thing about this device because yes you can play games from the epic launcher gog launcher ubisoft launcher any launcher you can think of even play playstation remote games on this device but since it's not windows you have to go through a lot of hoops and loops you have to watch videos tutorials on how to do or perform those functions on the steam deck 
That's a negative thing because it's running Linux. The other thing about the device is that battery life. Battery life is not the best battery life. I get around one hour and a half to around four hours and a half or five hours, depending what games I'm playing here, depending what settings I'm running the game on. So those are the ranges that I'm getting. And it all it, it exclusively depends on what games I'm actually playing on the device, of course. The other thing that I don't like about the device is that I have a little bit fear of this device not turning on for me ever again, turning into a brick. Why do I say that? I uploaded a video like a week, no, I would say like a month after getting this, so maybe two months, about the Steam Deck not turning on after just restarting the console or when a game crashes uh, that you have to restart the console. Um, I showed it in that video. Everything that happened in that video, which is a scary situation, has happened to me at least six more times. During this whole year, everything that you saw in that video, that experience that I suffer in that video, happened to me like six more times. I'm scared that one day it just it's just not gonna turn on. It's just gonna stay off. It's gonna turn into a brick and not turning on. Now that problem, I think it's a me problem. I think it's a problem with my Steam Deck because I don't see anybody having that problem. I don't see that problem being the widespread. So it might be just my Steam Deck that is suffering that problem. Because I don't, you know, I, like I said, I don't see anybody else complaining. Let me know in the comments if you are like me that have been having that problem. And if you have had that problem, how, much, how many times has it happened to you? And did you find a permanent fix? Because uh, I, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't even looked for it if there was a permanent uh, fix for it. But I fear that my Steam Deck will not ever turn on when that happens to me. Sometimes I'm scared of even restarting the console because of that fear of that happening i was using the stable um operating system which there right now there's a update available right the stable operating system the os stable recommended for uh, experience for most users right now ever since resident evil 4 came out i was having problems with the demo and i had to switch to preview which te says testing for new steam and system level features updates frequently and may encounter issues now i haven't encountered issues at all yes it does get updated frequently uh, but the cool thing is that you can actually experience settings or controls and features that you cannot get on the stable one and it won't damage your console like for example this right here customizing your startup start up movie um look at this this is the one that you just saw very very cool uh, you can also apply this one when your steam deck turns on this is the animation that you receive that is freaking awesome i have it randomly so sometimes it'll turn this one sometimes it'll turn this one this is the normal one for those asking this is the normal one if i want to add more ones i could just visit the store and i could just use the points that you earn while you play video games on steam and you could just go ahead here, look at that, all the options that we have available here. Plus, they're just going to keep on adding more. And you can just go ahead and play like that. For example, if I want to see that one, I can go ahead and, can I preview it? No. You can see it here, how it looks. It's very cool. But, you know, that's the cool thing about it. I don't know if, it, if this feature is already available on the full stable software i don't know if it's available yet but it's cool that you can actually do these things there's other other customization things you can do with the steam deck which i still haven't tried yet um you can play a whole bunch of emulators here so i've heard of people playing a playstation game nintendo games xbox games switch games a uh, whole bunch of different emulators. I personally haven't tried them yet, but yes, it is capable of doing that as well. So that's pretty cool. And that's it. Other than that, I'll have to say after a year of using this device, I love it. Uh, the cool thing about this device coming out is that now you have a lot of competition also coming out, like from Asus, 
from 1x player, Aya Neo. There's a lot of great competition. A lot of those devices are better, more powerful than this device. The problem is that a lot of those devices are way more expensive than the base Steam Deck. $400 versus $800, $900, you know, people are going to think it twice before they spend one of those de money on one of those devices. That's why I think the Steam Deck $400, 64GB version, it's an awesome freaking deal for what you're getting for the price. I think it's awesome. Um, that's all I have to say about the online Steam Deck. I do love it. I can't wait to keep on playing more future games here on the Steam Deck. Of course, check my channel. I upload videos, gameplay for new games, old games, running on the Steam Deck. And um, I also have some tutorials on how to, you know, do the cloud gaming, how to play your games from the Epic Store and the GOG Store, the like Heroic Launcher and all that. So yeah, every once in a while, I'll keep uploading videos for my Steam Deck. And it's because I love it and, I, and I, I know there's a lot of people that are, you know, trying to think, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? Should I get the 64 gigabyte version? Should I get the 512 gigabyte version? And I'm here to tell you that the 64 gigabyte versions, version is more capable enough to play your AAA games, AAA games. And the micro SD card is more than enough to run AAA games from it. Like I said, since I have my Steam Deck a whole year by now already... And I still haven't used my internal storage. All my games, all my games here are running from the micro SD card. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching my video. Let me know in the comments what you think about uh, the Steam Deck. And if you're not getting the Steam Deck, what other device are you thinking of getting instead of the Steam Deck? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.